Hey, Duity Solfers, I'm back. That's right, because I just bought this new SUV due to my shopping addiction, and I can't wait to tell you about it. As I've said before, step one, admit you have a shopping problem. Step two, go out shopping. And make sure you treat your alcoholism the same way. This is my new patent pending reverse psychology treatment. And now that I think about it, you wanna make sure and stay tuned for the entirety of this video, because I've been doing a lot more shopping than simply an SUV. Now, if you're wondering what type of SUV I've bought, well, it's none other than a 2004 GMC Yukon. And yes, I bought this car at an auction. I believe with the auction fees and everything, it came to about 2,700 bucks. It has 188,000 on the clock, and it's a real wheel drive automatic. Now, as far as the specs go for these cars, they come with a 5.3 liter Vortec V8 engine and a four-speed automatic transmission. These engines produce 295 horsepower and 335 pound-feet of torque. These vehicles have a curb weight of 5,135 pounds and a maximum towing capacity of 6,400 pounds. Now, I guess if I were to include this car in one of my top five or top 10 videos, this would go in the top five reliable SUVs for under 5,000 bucks. Because again, I bought this for about 2,700 bucks at an auction. Uh, if I were to buy it from a private party on Craigslist, for example, for all cash, it would probably be at around 4,000 bucks, maybe a little bit more. Now, as far as the condition of this car, well, it, the bad news is, as you can see, it has some severe paint damage on the hood and also on the roof. But the good news is that's about all that is wrong with this car. And as you can see, the interior is in good shape. The leather seats are in impeccable shape. I actually don't think that these are the original seats. Same goes for the rear seats. They're in really good shape. Now the third row seats are also in good shape, but I removed them to make more room. And that's because I have two big goofy dogs. That's right, the dogs are gonna sit up here with me. The baby mama and the kids are gonna go back here. And I got this fence to separate us. And that's because she's got claws. I feel like Tony should have done that bit, but all kidding aside, yes, the room back there is one of the reasons I bought this car. Also, the 6,400 pound towing capacity is another reason I got this car. The leather seats and the overall comfort level is another reason why I got this car. But probably the main reason is the good old Vortec engine that's on these cars. So as you probably can guess, this 5.3 liter Vortec engine is the upgraded version of the 5.7 liter Vortec engine that was used in the older GMC Yukons. Uh, Chevy Suburbans and Chevy Tahoes. It is just as hardy and reliable, yet it doesn't have some of the minor engine issues that the older ones had. Now, some people claim that the transmission on these cars are on the weak side, but in my opinion, the transmissions are okay as long as you maintain them properly. And I believe this car that I purchased was maintained properly because it's really clean underneath and has absolutely no leaks. There are minor issues like that bushing, but overall it's in really good mechanical shape. Also this sticker over here indicating that the next oil change should be at 193,000 miles, while we have 188,000 miles indicates that maintenance was probably done on time on this vehicle. Same goes for this bumper sticker, proud parents. Yep, they usually do maintenance on time. Now as far as any other issues or problems with these cars, well the main ones seem to be about electrical problems with the interior accessories, like problems with the climate control, the airbag light coming on on the dash and etc. Now there is one major mechanical problem that seems to only concern the 2003 GMC Yukons, which is the throttle actuator down here. As you can see, the throttle on these cars is drive by wire, which means it's controlled electronically. And that seems to go out from time to time on the 2003 GMC Yukons. As far as this SUV was number one, for me and why I bought this, well, actually the main reason is the cost. Again, I bought it for 2,700 bucks, whereas if I were to buy the number one SUV on my top five reliable SUVs under 5,000 bucks, that would probably cost closer to 5,000 bucks. I just don't see the need to spend that much money for what I need this SUV to do. You know, this is only from, you know, to get from point A to point B, it's not gonna be my daily driver. Maybe I use it to tow a trailer, you know, take the dogs to the park, keep the baby mama in the, back cage and away from me and this does all of that. Now as far as what else I've bought beside this SUV and really the main reason why I've been absent for a while is that I bought a house, actually a fairly large house with Southern California standards. Well actually to be more accurate I bought a property, a four and a half acre property with that main house and a guest house both of which need major renovations and upgrading. To be honest, I still haven't uh, dared go inside the guest house because the owner of this house has this sign on the outside. I'll go in there one day. 
Now what concerns my YouTube channel is that this house comes with a detached four car garage, which when I first purchased had just way too much stuff in it. There was no way I could do anything in this garage. And that's what I've been busy doing in the last two or three weeks to get it into this shape that you see here. Yeah, it's about 800 square feet. Uh, you know, there were walls down there I had to remove, all sorts of stuff I had to take to the landfill. In fact, I made about seven or eight trips to the landfill. But now it's all opened up and we can actually do some work here and make more videos, hopefully. But to be honest, we are nowhere near done. I'm planning on uh, replacing all the drywall here, redoing the wiring, removing or moving this water heater to that corner to make more room. Um, getting some uh, wiring for the 220 air compressor that left me behind, painting the floor with some epoxy paint, and eventually putting a huge window here because this property does have a pretty nice view. And yeah, that's my barn back there. Hey, if you enjoyed watching this video and want to support my channel, all you have to do is to simply watch another one of my videos. You can either click on this link in this corner or to the one the one right below it or click on any of my videos in the suggestion box and i'll promise to keep making videos for you guys all right thanks for watching and i'll see you guys soon